Hi, I'm Missy Henriksen with the National Pest Management Association. Today we'll look at one of the most common summer pests, mosquitoes, and how you can keep them from being a nuisance in your yard. Mosquito bites are no fun, but a small itch is a mild inconvenience compared to the diseases mosquitoes can spread, including encephalitis, malaria, yellow fever, and West Nile virus, the number one mosquito transmitted disease in the U.S. Symptoms of West Nile can include fever, headache, body aches, fatigue, and sometimes a skin rash or swollen lymph glands. In a small number of patients, the virus may develop into a serious neurological infection like encephalitis, causing high fever, disorientation, or convulsions. With a few simple changes, you can make your yard an uninviting environment for mosquitoes. Most importantly, eliminate any sources of standing water from flower pots, swimming pool covers, recycling bins, and other objects that can collect water. Change water in bird baths and water dishes at least once a week. And if you have a pond, you can introduce mosquito-eating fish like green sunfish, bluegills, and minnows to control the pest population. Check screens and doors and windows and patch any holes, no matter how small. It's also best to limit time outdoors during peak mosquito hours from dusk until dawn. If you do need to go outside during those times, wear long sleeves and use insect repellent that contains DEET, oil of lemon eucalyptus, or picaridin. Don't take chances. Take steps to keep mosquitoes out of your yard and stay pest-free.